Welcome back to Yoga Express, your virtual stretch clinic that helps you move the body to still the mind. As you can see today, we have a full house once more. I was not sure if our new guests would come back because I literally drafted them onto the mat yesterday when they were looking for someone else. But to our special guest's credit, they actually did. I think you must have done something very right, Harina. I'd like to introduce Harinam Singh Khalsa, reintroduce Harinam Singh Khalsa. Harinam is a spiritual teacher and counselor. Harinam, it's been a pleasure. In the last three episodes, what we've experienced, and I think our expectations are getting higher and higher, and you're just going past the bar each time. Thank you so much. We really had a great time, and I think our guests speak, I can speak on behalf of my guests that they had a good time. Is that yes. correct, Cody? Correct Amundo. <laughs> Cody Parham. Cody, welcome back to the show. Great to be back. Cody is an actor, and what else? You have several dimensions to you, I know, besides being an actor. What else do you do? You play sport, I'm sure. Oh, pretty much uh, one dimension there, I'm sorry. One dimensional. There's <laughs> <laughs> just back. not enough one dimensional people in here. I'm not enough. <laughs> no. It's a pleasure to have you back, Cody. Anything you want to add from the last episode? How did you feel? Oh, it just proved how out of shape I am. <laughs> I need to join a gym, maybe. Um, it, well, I think of it, it, at least it's something to put on my resume, maybe. <laughs> Did you have a good time? Yes. That, is, time. that counts a lot. That oh, yeah. counts for a lot. <laughs> Welcome back to the show. Thank to you. my extreme right, we have uh, Rushikesh Padela. Rushikesh, welcome back. Oh. What did you think? Any feedback? Uh, uh, once again, the same thing as Cody. <laughs> I uh, need to really get in shape. Uh. Okay, two gym memberships coming up, guys. <laughs> but did you enjoy yourself too? Uh, well, I guess I learned that uh, I need to. I need to work on yeah. different parts of the body. <laughs> well, you know that's what it is, Rishikesh. We always we discover parts of the body that we never realized we had. I mean, there are regions of the body we never work. Especially, yeah. I don't know if you have any origins in India. Your name sounds like you might have. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, my family. parents are from India. They're yeah. from India, so you might recall if you've ever been back to India since you've been here. You a might few recall times. we do sit on the floor a lot in India. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Since I moved overseas, I've noticed that I sit in chairs all the time, and you know what that has done for my abductor muscles, the ones on the outside of my thighs, they become oh. really tight. Mm -hmm. Oh. Now I'm rediscovering that I actually have abductors since I started practicing yoga. So mm. you know what? We're just discovering neglected muscle groups. That's what's happening with you. So I hope it's a happy discovery. Uh, <laughs> yes. He's very polite. He's to work not on it. <laughs> he has to work on it. Welcome back to the show. Thank you. Lana Parr to um, Rishikesh's left. Lana, welcome back. Thank As you. usual, it's a pleasure to have you back. Thank you. How do you feel today? Oh, I'm feeling a bit tired and stiff at the moment. I've From the last episode, yes. yeah. But I did a lot more stretching than, than I have done in the past, you know. I have to say you're a good sport in spite, in spite of feeling any uh, minimum pain or whatever you well, feel. Well, once you get started, you don't want to stop. <laughs> well, that's another thing. It's a healthful high, so yes. welcome back. Welcome Thank back. You. Talking about being good sports, I have to acknowledge the two gentlemen here, uh, Cody and Rishikesh. Rishikesh is in a suit. Um, in trousers and slacks. He had a suit on. I made him take his jacket off because he had his chakras moving all warmed up. And Cody has jeans on. So guys, you're doing a great job. Thank you. And it's all thanks to Harinam Singh Khalsa, our special guest. Before I go, before I let Harinam go on, thank you Josiane for holding the fort once more. Our director Josiane Hurd. And thanks to Malik Parker for all the studio lights and gobos. For those of you who have not met our new mascot, please meet Oscar the Turtle. 
This turtle has wings. You don't see it on the screen just yet. You will when the screen li when the lights go a little dim. Hi now. We can't wait to hear what you have to offer us today. Well, a little bit different. We're going to do a, a Kundalini Yoga set, but this is going to be a little more uh, meditative. Okay. Well, parts of it will be not as physically demanding. All right. But uh, we'll use um, a little more breathing and even even introduce our audience to some uh, simple mantras okay. that they can use uh, with with that breathing. All right. We're all yours. Very good. Any or before we move on, where can people reach you? Well, I believe that it's uh, we have it on the screen. No? We have it on the screen, but Yoga tell them what to expect. Com and yeah. uh, and on that, if you go to my website, that's on the screen. It, it oh, there's pages there that announce uh, where I may be teaching. Uh, and right. sometimes I teach here in New York, and sometimes I travel around the world to teach. And if they have any questions about the class, you can also email me, and my email address right. is on there as well. Do you share your, you know, the uh, paperwork that you have yeah. here with oh, us? We get a little sneak peek every now and then. Do you share that peek. with you? Yeah, if somebody would like, uh, I could scan. If, if somebody really wants to practice the set we did right. here, right. I'll, I'll have it scanned and, they, and email it to them, of course. So guys out there, if you're watching us and stretching with us, please know nothing comes for free in life. You've got to first stretch with us, stay in touch with us, come on the mat, and then Ask Harinam for his notes. Don't just expect to be sent the notes because you're not going to get it. Harinam, don't be too lenient on them. Give it to them only if they come and stretch with us. Well, and also, also, I was going to mention, long as you're talking about the plugs in here, that yeah. I'm always available uh, uh, for if anybody would like any uh, uh, consultation, counseling, right. in right. what's going on with their life, especially as far as relationships and things like this, that uh, I'm available for that as well. So. Uh, and they can help. still send you an email? Yeah, of course, of okay. course, and uh, that can be arranged as well. That's great. And I, I love the way you, you pointed out in the last couple of episodes that when you do your consultations, it's always in very natural settings. So it's done very anybody. differently. You know, I have I have my masters in counseling, and I, right. I went through school for that. But I have to stay almost cynically that uh, I'm going through four or five years of of uh, what you'd call contemporary uh, counseling education that I found it almost to be useless. That uh, I was very fortunate that I studied for many years uh, with a great spiritual master, Yogi Bhajan, Yogi Bhajan, and I watched how he dealt with people, and it was a a astonishing that uh, I would see people talk to him for five minutes and just, and even in my own life, how he dealt with people. And, uh, you know, I, I've read the books of, of, of course, all the very famous psychologists, Jung and, and Freud. All, they, they couldn't even tie this guy's shoes, actually. That, that it's like kindergarten compared to where, where his consciousness was, it was vast. And, and I saw how he uh, dealt with people, and then that's how I deal with people, really. Uh, no matter what the person is talking to you about, whether it's relationships or work or, or, or money or whatever, it, it, in the end, it still comes down to uh, a person's destiny, why they're here, and right. really kind of understanding that no matter what aspect of life you're talking about, you still have to talk about in the context of what the meaning of their whole life is. Uh, it's very hard to kind of disassociate these things right. because at the end of the day, it's about really who you are and why you're here. That's beautifully put. What I always feared was dying without making a difference. You know, we all want to make a difference. And, you know, we're all trying the best way we can. So I think you're doing an amazing job making a great difference in all our lives. So Harina, we're all yours. We're all yours. And I would just say, because your, your last comment really got me to react a little bit and people going, you know, they're afraid. I, I was a very deep comment and most people are even afraid to even say that. Right. They're afraid to die without making a difference and, and even one step beyond that is that people really, I think deep down, are afraid to die without even knowing why they're here. Right, right. They really Unanswered don't even know. They, they're just... And it's not even necessarily like a philosophical question. It's that people are here, they're going through the... Through the motions. The root motion, exactly. That's where they're going through the motions of life, but it's actually just like I'm here by an accident, and I don't even know why I'm here, so right. I'm just going to, you know, get a job, make some money, party my, party my way through life, and then 
what, but so there's really no sense of there's no sense sense of self. There's no sense of mission. There's right. no sense of purpose. Right. So. So in the end of the day, there's an emptiness that just can't be filled. And again, we only talk about this in the context of doing these short little yoga right, places. Right. Because in the end, really, although all of this is bringing us to a place where we're more physically fit and we feel well, ultimately, if you get engaged in this sort of process in life, you really do start getting more in touch with yourself and you start really... Um, understanding who you are and why you're here, which is the, the greatest gift of all, of course. That's right. I think we're all on our way. Thank you so much. Okay, that was and, and we will, and we will, uh, and so we're going to do a little, a little thing different, a little more exotic than last class. Okay. We're going to uh, introduce some other little things in this class. So I got out of this meditative, more meditative set, and so we're going to use, for instance, this mantra. And we haven't done much of this before. And again, the people at home, if you're uncomfortable doing that, that's okay. You can just do the breathing. There's no sense of pressure on anybody. But we will Sorry give this. Sorry to interrupt. Is it okay to sit any way I'm comfortable? I'm about to show you. Okay. We're going to get you okay. in a position. But if you can't get in this position, that's you get in a comfortable position. Okay. I'll show you in a second. Uh, uh, meditation, uh, mantra we've made in use of in many classes is the mantra Sat Nam, S-A-T-N-A-M. And Sat Nam is Sat is truth, Nam is name. So Sat Nam is, you know, the, like, it's, uh, you know, I'm the truth. Right. The truth is within me, Sat Nam. Truth. And then we, we can break that up atomically into, instead of Sat Nam, Sa, Ta, Na, Ma. Yeah? Sa is like creation, ta is life, na is death, ma is recreation. It's kind of like the cycle of life. Of life. Exactly. It's kind Sa. of like uh, Prometheus, uh, the movie. In the beginning, the alien kills itself, and they show a DNA Re strand, and it ends up being the source of uh, the DNA of humans in general. I, I knew there's a reason that. we got him off that's the right. street. There Look we go. There we go. Make it a contemporary, but that's it. That's like the whole cycle of, of existence. Right. There you go. I was just thinking about He's that. on I'll his bet. way of being a spiritual that's teacher right. here. So, so that's what it is. The cycle of existence. Nice Sa, analogy. ta, na, ma. Okay? And we'll, and we'll do this. So I'm going to get into this pole called Virasan. Virasan is warrior's pose. Good, good, good. I like and now, that. if you can't do that, you can still sit cross legged or you could just sit oh, in the chair. That's I'm fine. I'm going to move the chair, actually, and see if I can do it. Oh, okay, or sit in the chair. Either way, you know. Um, but this is this is Virasan. I'm going to sit on my left heel. Oh, and, and, the right, and the right and the right foot is here. So that's the position, right? And then I'm just going to put my arms around my right knee, just like so. Okay. And if at home you're having difficulty, you could sit in a chair or a cross-legged position. But if you can get into Virasan, I'm just like in this position right here. Okay, now I'm going to close my eyes. Okay, and off we go. Now close your eyes, and now you're going to break your inhale into four sniffs, four parts. And exhale four parts. Okay. Through the nose. Inhale four parts. Exhale four parts. Continue. Now, with each part, you're going to be thinking sa, ta, na, ma, and on the exhale, sa, ta, na, ma. Got it. Okay, continue. Inhale four parts, exhale four parts. And with each sniff and the inhale, you're thinking sa, ta, na, ma. And the exhale, you're thinking sa, ta, na, ma. Continue. Now, just watch me one second. I'm going to put my arms now, 45 degrees, same position, but continue. Four parts inhale, 
and exhale four parts. Continuing, same thing. As a four part inhale, you're thinking sa, ta, na, ma. And then a four part exhale, sa, ta, na, ma. Continue, continue. And your weight, if you could do it, is you're actually on your, you know, you're, you're on your heel. You're sitting on your left heel. And the top of your foot is flat on the ground. There you go. That's it. That's it. People are beginning to find out how inflexible they are. It's uh, Life 101. And it's great. You know, I was, say, when I started doing Kundalini Yoga, I was a ball player, and I thought I was very physically fit. I was very muscular, but I had absolutely no flexibility. And at 24, I realized how inflexible I was. And now I'm 60, and I'm actually pretty flexible. And if you get on in life, you get more and more inflexible. It becomes very, very difficult. Okay, keep up. Another minute. Okay, 30 more seconds. Back straight, arms up at 60 degrees. Oh boy, you know, when you see people in their mid-20s and they're struggling, and not to be critical, but just to, just to be clear about this, imagine how it is when they're 50. If at 25, it's difficult. So there's a great motivation to kind of get your body where it needs to be when you're young, because when you're older, it's much more difficult to turn around. Okay, now inhale. Exhale, come bring your leg out. Whew, it's frozen. We're trained to actually be in this position for three or four hours uh -oh. at a time. Uh oh. It's called Virasan. This is. How does that feel? This is called Warrior's Pose. Okay, so we're warriors in training. Okay, now That's right. I'm sitting on both heels now, right? Okay. okay, and my hands are right on my knees here. It is the inhale position, right? So I'm inhaling up, exhaling, I'm bowing down and putting my forehead to the floor. Okay. Inhaling up, exhaling down. Inhaling up, exhaling down. Bending at the waist. the music up a little bit. It's really beautiful music we're playing and, and as we've said in other classes, the that's good. The um, music is really geared to inspire us as we're doing the yoga to put our minds in a very lofty place. Okay, 30 more seconds. And the top of your feet should be flat on the floor. We're sitting on our heels. If you can. Inhaling up, exhaling down. This is really all about flexibility, not just physical flexibility. We want to be mentally and emotionally flexible too, very fluid. Okay, inhale. Exhale and just relax in this position. Feeling very regal, royal. You're doing great, Rishi. Can you stay with me, guys? Okay, you get with me, guys. I don't want to. I don't want to kill you. One. We need you back at another class. We don't want to kill you. One class, right? And now make fists, and we're going to start punching. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, left punch. Exhale, right punch. Punch, 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 punch. There you go. 
No flailing, punching. Right from the, your core. Inhale, left, exhale, right. Left punch, right punch, left punch, right punch. There you go, you're doing great. And again, with your breath, punching left on the inhale, exhale with the right punch. Some of you are not gonna hurt anybody with those punches. Punch like you're gonna, punch like you mean it. Yeah, and there you go, punch like you mean it. I well, need a Bono, Bono here has a perfect target. <laughs> She's already left a couple of bruises on me last few episodes. And sometimes I see people, I'm very disappointed the way you punch. If I, you, if my life was on the line and you had to protect me, I'd be a dead man. <laughs> You know, punch, punch, like, you know. You asked for it. There it is. That's perfect. That's a punch. Thank you, Banu. Come on, Rishikesh. I'm uh, losing. Rish. I'm losing. I'm, 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 you're my bodyguard. I'm feeling like uh, like this is very, my life is very much in de jeopardy here. This bodyguard is going to kill this guy. <laughs> 30 seconds. Punch. 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 Okay. Punch. Right. Punch. Punch just like you're gonna knock somebody off their feet and on their back. This is a warrior's yoga. Okay, 15 seconds. Punch. Boy, we gotta retrain people here. Here you go. Punch, punch like you're gonna knock somebody down. There you go. That's where we're there. Five seconds. Punch right to the end. I'm picking up okay. speed. No, Inhale. <laughs> Exhale, come lying on your back. Okay, come oh, lying on your back. Oh, everybody's moaning and groaning. What are we gonna do with you guys, okay? Now, what are you gonna do, and you may wanna be on your, this direction. Okay. We're going to lie in the back, and I'm gonna put my knees into my chest. Okay. Good. Head on the floor, back of the head on the floor, knees into the chest, and just pull my knees into my chest and breathe long and deep. And relax in this position. So you're lying on your back, head on the floor, hands around the knees, pulling your knees into your chest, please. Pull your knees into your chest and relax. Lana, do it gently and go on your side first. Pull your knees into your chest. Very gently, go on whichever pull side. Pull your knees, can you? Oh. Pull your knees in your chest. You don't put your head down. Don't oh, lie on that. Yeah, don't lie on that. Thing. Yeah, that's you don't need that. Okay, pull your knees into your chest. Or there you go. And relax. Yeah, go on your side first before you don't hurt yourself. That's it. Go on your side first. Yeah, you're doing fine. You're doing great. That's it. And then very gently shift your butt. So you. And you're lying on your back with your knees into your chest. Very Now in this position, I want you to raise your legs straight up. And before, now watch me, I'm gonna bend my knees, I'm gonna grab my toes. So bend your knees, grab the toes, and then try to lift your legs straight up 
right? Beautiful. And if you can, pause, pause, pause. also lift your head off the ground and stretch your legs. There you go. Try to straighten your knees if you can. Breathing long and deep. And if you can, Bano, try to lift your head off the floor. That's even better. There you go. That's it. Good. Everybody's doing good. If you can, again, ideally you want to straighten your legs up. As you, you grab it onto your toes, you're going to try to straighten your legs. Try to grab onto your toes and straighten your legs. Exhale, come out of it and quickly sit in cross-legged position. Very quickly, cross-legged position, sit up straight, cross your hands, put them over your heart. Sorry. Put them over your heart. Okay, close your eyes. And as we did in the beginning, you're going to be breaking your inhale into four parts. And exhaling, four parts. Prayer. I'm thinking sa, ta, na, ma, and exhaling sa, ta, na, ma. Continuing. And everybody continue, and perhaps Banu will be doing a closing, but this is actually kind of tying the whole class together. Put this mantra in your heart sa, ta, na, ma, and then exhaling sa, ta, na, ma. Residing in your heart. Keep going, guys. We had the rolling credits. So on behalf. Keep going, of everybody else. Rush on behalf of Rushikesh. Co uh, to my extreme right, on behalf of Cody. To my immediate left, on behalf of Lana Par and Harinam Singh Khalsa. This is Banu Suresh signing off, and you are watching Yoga Express. Stay with us. Stretch with us. We air five days a week. We take once a week. Join us on the mat.